Hello guys, welcome to the second video of our microscope series. Today we will examine the broad bean leaf and how it looks like under the microscope. So I see that there are some air bubbles inside, but that shouldn't interfere with our results. Okay, now let's see what it looks like with the magnification of 8x, 8x here, and there it should be 15x. I'm using the smallest hole so that, you know, the light doesn't burn my eyes, but also you can see the things clearly. That's bright enough. When I say that things are magical under the microscope, you guys should believe it because look at this this is what i see but not exactly because this is the photo that's being taken on my phone but when you actually see this under the microscope the colors are more vibrant you can see that each outline of each bulb is kind of neon colored and also rainbow colored due to light refraction probably but look at this. This is only 8x times 15x, which is 120x magnification. And just look at that. Do you see what is there? Isn't this just so cool? I have no idea how you would describe this. To me, it just looks like a bunch of little hills. It looks... If you... Okay, this is going to sound gross. But if you imagine a lot of eyeballs... This is what it looks like to me, like a pool of eyeballs. Okay, let's see the other photo, which is this. Yeah, so you see blue and green is its main color. It's probably due to the dye because you see the slide under visible light is just green or blue. And this is how it looks like with the dye. Now let's change to a higher magnification, so 30x times 8 to 40x. Okay, so I'm not sure if this is what I'm supposed to see, but I only see some nuclei shown. So you can see that there are two dark spots. Perhaps these, I think these are just dirt because if they are truly nucleus, then you can probably see a plant cell wall. But this thing looks nothing like plant cell, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna switch to higher magnification. Okay guys, so this is what I see with 480x magnification. Now this is truly something we couldn't see before. So you can see the details of each cell more clearly. Maybe these are spindle fibers, I'm not sure. They just look like a mess, but a beautiful mess. It kind of makes me think of the peacock's tail, you know, so pretty the color. So you can see that the cell walls are super close to each other. They're adjacent. There's a bunch of cells. Besides that, let's see if we can find something. Oh, hmm. Perhaps this cell is undergoing anaphase. So you can see that the chromosomes separate due to spindle fibers. And let's see some other stuff. What else can we see? Okay, can we find a nucleus somewhere? I feel like these dark spots, the super dark and concentrated spots, are the nucleus. What else? Metaphase? Hmm. Can we see metaphase? It can be hard from just this one look because not all cells are represented by this image. Maybe these straight lines are metaphase, but it's super unclear where the cell walls make the boundaries between each cell. We could assume that this is metaphase, although we're not totally sure. Telophase. Can we see telophase? Let's add a mitosis tutorial to this video. Can we see telophase? It's amazing how some of these cells look so soft and round, yet others are kind of like nuts shaped. And they have these super thick linings around them. We can do some research to see what we're seeing as well. 
Okay, I don't think I see a super- Oh, maybe this one is Teleface. You can see that this is the- It's bounded by a green wall, which is the original cell's membrane or cell wall. But now you can see that the cell is trying to separate into two. You can see that some chromosomes are going to one end while others are going to the other end. Overall, this slide is so far the coolest. Well, actually, they're all pretty cool. I can't really rank them. What do you guys think? Leave them in the comments below.